headquarters. And speaking of politics, tomorrow's the deadline for candidates to file for this summer's first congressional district special election. And just this morning, a candidate has entered the race, the widow of the man who has held the seat, Republican Congressman Jim Hagedorn. Jennifer Kernahan joins a large field. There will be two races for the seat this year, following last month's death of the congressman. Republicans are confident about their chances to hold the seat, but Democrats insist they're not giving up. Mark Zedeklik has the story. Carleton College political science professor Stephen Shear has been closely following politics in southern Minnesota for decades. But even he's flattered. 
Goodhue, Southeastern Anoka, Scott Carver, Washington, Ramsey, St. Croix, Pierce, Dunn, and Northwestern Chippewa counties. This is until until about 10:15 uh, this morning, so just be aware of that. The going could get kind of tough. This is NPR News 91.1 KNOW, Minneapolis, St. Paul. We will see some sunshine though by the time this exits the region with a high of 38. Chris Farrell, what's on the program at 9 o'clock? Well, good morning to you, Kathy. And today we're going to talk about the war in Ukraine and what we can learn from Minnesotans who have lived through previous wars. We'll hear from a Ukrainian living in Minnesota. He is watching as the war destroys his homeland and threatens his family. We'll also talk with the president of Refugees International. He is just back from a trip to the Ukrainian border with Poland. Later in the hour, we'll be joined by two therapists who help people recover from war and torture. What can we learn about the effects of war from Minnesotans who have experienced it? And I want to hear from you. Have you or a family member lived through a war in your homeland? If you came to Minnesota as a refugee, how has it shaped your life here? And if it close ties to Ukraine or Russia, what are you hearing from friends and family? The phone lines are open. Call us at 
move towards cleaner energy. Ansel is the best of the